Hi you guys, my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills slash Norvina and kind of the hoopla that's been going on around that whole circumstance, that whole situation. Before I get started, make sure you guys click subscribe so that you guys are subscribed to my channel and do not forget to click the notification bell so that you guys are notified every single time that I post a video. So if you guys are not familiar with Anastasia Beverly Hills, it is a very well-known uh, makeup company. They're considered more luxury. I know they're found at Ulta or Sephora, not so much drugstore, you know, like you probably aren't going to see them at like a Walmart or a CVS, but you're going to see them at more of the, the makeup branded uh, stores. So the first time I ever heard about ABH was their brow Wiz pencil that was like, you know, catered to eyebrows. Um, <laughs> and speaking of eyebrows, this has nothing to do with ABH. This is called ombre powder, but my girl V snapped and I just think that you guys should see it because <laughs> there's not an ounce of makeup on these eyebrows. Anyways, I don't even know if I ever purchased the Brow Wiz pencil, but I do know that it was, it's a very good eyebrow pencil and people have ranted and raved about it. If you guys watch beauty gurus on YouTube, if you guys are in the beauty community, you guys know that the Brow Wiz pencil is something that like everybody just like ranted and raved about. And and then, you know, she started putting out palettes and, you know, she just has a very extensive makeup line. And by she, I mean Norvina and her mother. Their their makeup line, their makeup brand is, it, it's it's really good. And if it wasn't good, then they, we, would, we wouldn't be here. We would not, we wouldn't have anything to talk about. Sharita, be quiet. What are you talking about? So I'm gonna be 100% transparent. I don't know all the details that have to do with what I'm going to talk about. But to me, it's the principle. It's just the big idea of what needs to be spoken about. This is why I'm a commentary channel, because I comment on things. I feel like I have enough knowledge to, to give my point of view and my perspective. So on Twitter, and if you're not following me, follow me, by the way, Sharita is random on Twitter. On Twitter, there were a lot of people talking about how Norvina from ABH isn't paying her content creators. And this kind of caught my eye because we're in a day and age where social media kind of runs everything. Uh, if you're not hearing from something on a commercial, you're hearing from it on social media, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, TikTok, Tumblr, whatever. You're hearing it from social media. You're hearing it from influencers on social media. And to hear that these bigger companies, these companies that are worth millions, if not billions of dollars, you're hearing that they're not, they're not paying their influencers and it's like, well, how sway? So basically what happened is, so my girl Lauren came out and basically said she was approached by ABH to do some looks and her payment was going to be exposure. <sighs> now, of course, everybody wants exposure. Influencers want exposure. This is why they are on the interwebs. This is why they get on Al Gore's internet and they post things because they want the exposure. However, when you build up certain when you build yourself up exposure is no longer enough and if you think about it and you're doing all this hard work you know sometimes they'll send you PR and they go hey can you do this look they send you free makeup which means you don't have to come out of your pocket, which is awesome. And you get to, you know, you can create your own content. But when they're saying, hey, I'm going to send you this makeup and I need you to do this look and send it back to us and we're going to pay you an exposure. That's like going to your landlord and going, hey, I did this look from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, they didn't give me no check, but they gave me some exposure. So can I pay you back an exposure? No. 
you, like, it just doesn't work like that. So Lauren basically called them out and was like, um, I, I'm not doing this for exposure because she has built herself up to where people are actually paying her money. This is her job. She makes, this is how she makes a living. So for somebody like ABH who makes more than enough money, and we'll get to why we know they make more than enough money in a second, who makes more than enough money to pay their content creators for them to go, we'll give you exposure, that's crap. And not only was this to Lauren, who happens to be a black woman, I know for a fact they also sent the same email to Nima Tang, who is also a black woman. How come, and now granted, like I said, I, I don't know the details. I don't know how many of these emails were sent out, but what I do know is that they asked two black women to do work and not get paid. And that is not okay. That is not Okay, so the fact that she's making all, Norvina is making all this money and she's asking, she, like basically she's, she's pandering to the black community. She's saying, listen, I know if Nima and, and I know if Lauren, I know, I know if, if they use my product, then it's gonna reach other women, men and women of color, and then they're going to by my product, I know that's how it's gonna work. So we're just going to ask them for exposure. No, pay them. They need to be paid. That is their job. Can you imagine going to Sprint and being like, listen, Sprint, I ain't got no money. I worked real, real, real hard, but I ain't got no money. But listen, I'll get, listen, I'll get on YouTube and I'll use your phone in my video. Is is that good enough? Can I can I pay you like that? No. That's not how it works. And it's so frustrating to see Norvina pandering to the black community in this way while she is actively giving $25,000 purses to people who do not care about the black community. Oh, who am I talking about? Rich Lux. She gifted him a bag worth 25, not 100, $25,000, knowing he is a racist apologist and she doesn't care. And she knows he is a racist apologist because Plenty of people have told her people, plenty of people have shown her that he's a racist apologist. So now, now here's the thing. She can be friends with whoever she wants to. However, her actions will have consequences. So when black, when black people see how she truly feels about black people, they're not going to give her her money. So she can do what she wants to but her pockets will hurt at the end of the day. And the fact that people continually to ask her, what about Rich? What about this? What about that? And she says nothing. I mean, she, it is cricket silent. Okay. All right. We see you. We 100% see you. Another thing that I want to point out is how she treated the Jackie Ina collab. Now, I I love Jackie. I mean, <laughs> I love Jackie. And I wanna say that's probably the first ABH purchase that I ever made. If, I don't think, like I'm really trying to rack my brain. I don't know if I've ever purchased like the, the pencil from ABH, but I do know that the Jackie Ina palette is the only palette that I have purchased from ABH. And I did that to support Jackie. When I tell you guys how dirty Jackie was done, first of all, her palette was out for maybe like a week. And then all of a sudden, I think it was like the Carly by Bell palette came out right after. And it was like, 
So you didn't even allow Jackie's palette to get the hype that it deserved. And then you're just gonna push out another palette. And Rich Lux got on his big ass YouTube channel and said, don't purchase a Jackie Ina palette. But Norvina still thought it was a good idea to gift him a bag as a friend. <laughs> you don't you don't even have to like Jackie to see that there is something wrong with that. He is telling. I don't know how many subscribers he has, but he has a lot and he is actively telling his subscribers don't purchase her palette because it's trash. I mean, it's far from trash. And there are a lot of videos out there to prove that it's far from trash. But because he doesn't like Jackie for whatever reason, oh, maybe because she's a successful black woman. Yep, and I'm gonna go there because that's probably why he doesn't like her. He, he thinks it's okay to tell people to not purchase her palette, yet he pushes all these other trash ass palettes. Like, it's so infuriating to see Norvina who I believe is a woman of color, to just watch somebody tear down another woman of color like this. And Jackie didn't, I, you guys, when I tell you Jackie did not get what she deserved, she did not get what she deserved and it's so frustrating and infuriating. All, all I know is that Norvina has a lot of explaining to do and the best thing that she did was put out an apology letter, which it was an apology letter and it only addressed Lauren and nobody else. Granted, that email went out to more than just her. So the fact that Lauren was bold enough to call her out Norvina was like, oh, well, maybe I should apologize to her directly. No, you need to apologize to every single person who is worth more than just exposure. You need to send a personalized email to every single one of those people because basically what you're saying is, I don't think you're worth my money, but your demographic is worth my money. I, I don't have to try to target the black community because I know you will. That's basically what she's saying. Prove me wrong. So long story short, one, Norvina is trash for sending that email and blaming it on a new hire. Two, Norvina is trash for pandering to the black community through bigger black influencers. Three, Norvina is trash for being friends with racist apologists, and four, Norvina is trash. What she needs to do is hand the company back over to her mother um, so it could be ran in a more professional limelight. So that is my video for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Do not forget to share this video amongst your friends and your peers. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.